Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, and welcome to another edition of the Senate Shorts. I'm your host, Neil John, as always, but my brother from another mother and your host, Derek. Yeah. And together we bring you another short version of the Senate podcast. And on this edition, we have a, a guest, Dr. Carrie Amp here, yeah. our resident doctor and black woman. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's to right. Up, to balance out the misogyny, we have her here. So remember... Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit your notification bell so you don't miss anything. Most important word is share, share the content so we can build this platform and this community. My brother, you are really putting carry on through the ring of fire. I am. Right? Yeah. By the, yeah, so let, let's get into it. Brother, what you got for us? All right, we got a video here. This one is from A at the Table. Um, they do some very interesting content out there. It could be a bit much sometimes, so I don't watch them too often, but they had this, this particular topic about a guy who took a woman on a date. It says it didn't go down very well and he's now decided to put her in court. So let's see if we can get some of the details of that. Nobody likes to get their time wasted, period. So a guy takes a girl out on a first date, spends $1,100 on the bill. No brainer. That's OD. The girl gets her ex to come pick her up from the date and <laughs> doesn't hear from this girl again. Duh. And he files a lawsuit to sue her. Good. For a waste of time. What do we think about? <laughs> well, DM. <damn. laughs> <laughs> the floor is yours. The floor is, the floor is yours, daughter. Here. <laughs> wow. I just said it earlier in another one. These women out here be savage. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Straight up. So. Yeah, that. So basically, let me just take a picture here. So, my takes a woman on a date. Right. Spends $1,100. Sure, a nice time. They eat fish and bread. I had a nice time. Right? <laughs> right. $1,100 in, in thing. Right. The woman called her ex, ex. Uh-huh. to pick her up. Yep. And then I know just my goes... mind is soon. What, what are your thoughts? I don't even know what to say to this. I, I, I'm finding it... I'm finding it scary that people are doing this. <laughs> like, you take me out and I call my... So something must have gone wrong. Something must have gone wrong on the date. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You spend $1,100 on me and I call my ex? Uh-huh. Because... It's not like I'm walking away with the $1,100 and say, oh, now I can go, you know, dipsy doodle with my ex. <laughs> with $1,100. <laughs> I, I'm walking away with just a full belly. So something exactly. nothing went wrong. I would pause it to you. I've been we've been doing this here now for a year. The foodie sure. call is a real thing. Foodie call is a real thing. I will a pause foodie it to call? you. I will foodie pause call. it to you, carry on. That this man of means or whatever. I saw this woman and this woman said no problem. She carried herself a sort of way and maybe even implied that you carry me someplace. You go carry me someplace nice now. Mm-hmm. My man said a problem. They went. $1,100 later, my woman say, yeah, she probably had a nice time. Woman eat she belly full. Probably order everything off the menu, right? Stuff that she probably don't normally eat. Exactly. Right. And certainly could afford. What is the purpose of a date? Can I carry on? What's the purpose of a first date? Well, in my mind, the purpose of a first date is to see whether or not you formulate some type of connection with the person to potentially then further engage them in a sequence of dates that possibly mm-hmm. lend to intimate engagement. You are wrong. If this was 10 years ago, you would have been right. But you know what? In 2022, you are wrong. The purpose of a first date is to get my belly full, have a mouth pay, and get a woman business. That is the intent. I text the pictures for the gram. That is what, what some women, this is what some women out there are doing. The foodie call is a real thing. We have covered All right, so this is cases. where I now officially have crossed over into the other age bracket because I have no concept of what you just explained. So basically, no, like, cheese on bread. I, I never, it's very rare we get to educate a doctor <laughs> on what's going it's on. True. Right? But, it's true, it's true. You know, you know, um, a foodie call is basically Ooh. when someone, usually a woman, hits up a man for food, knowing full well, using her feminine wells or whatever, <clears> and understanding that the man being the man providing, etc. She manipulates the man, woman dynamic, the masculine and feminine dynamic to get a meal no. or several meals out of no. it. Right? No. Um, the foodie call. Yes, yes. That, that is ex- right? Carry on, I cannot believe you do not know what's a foodie call. This is madness well, because maybe, I don't I don't swim in those circles. Maybe, maybe <laughs> it is a good thing that you don't know what's a foodie call. Oh but anyhow, for me, 
this is how I see it. I think the date went perfectly for her. Damn. I think that she, 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 she may have even been engaging. You know, laughing at my jokes, eating the food, everything like that. Even when the bill comes, she's like, yeah, you know, cool, whatever. I bet you she was on the phone with the ex. Probably right? even before then. Even before then. Or before, yeah. And I guarantee you that she had no interest in this man before. None. Oh, none. Whatsoever. None. As a matter of fact, I posit to y'all again that the fact that she has her ex-boyfriend picking her up means that she is still tied emotionally. Yep. She, uh, she is still... No, not just emotionally. She's still yeah, no, ex. yeah, it's more like, than good, emotional. Good. So, with that being said, she had no intention of uh, what was was that antiquated thing you said there, Carrie Ann, about getting to know you and bonding and connection, all this airy fairy bullshit that uh, grandparents yeah. talk about. It, this, this, I bet you ain't no thought about love and all sorts of things, right? What's love got to do? It's got to do with it. This old antiquated thing. Listen, well, I will I, stay with my antiquated self over here. Thanks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You single, right? You single, right? I okay with that. Hold on. Hold on. I mean, that's not even like, that's not even a dick because all three of us are single. But oh. anyhow, the po- point remains is that. That's wild. We have to. We, so, so basically what this woman did is she hit at this man. She had no intention of getting to know this man better. She had no intention of building any bond or connection with this man. Yeah. She was just both getting an experience that she would not ordinarily get. And she got what she wanted and she dipped and gone. Shoot. The woman, like she said, you know what? Well, I get what you want. I ain't even trying to hit a string along this man or whatever to get multiple meals or whatever. I have gotten what I wanted. And yeah. I, oh, it is so premeditated. It should be criminal. Because and my man's so right. It is criminal. There you go. But but I can tell you this though. I can offer some advice to the man, right? Gentlemen, we say this on this in this space all the time. Stop leading with your wallet. Correct. If a woman is about you, if she has that initial interest to go on you with a first date, she should be willing to go anywhere within reason with you. There, it does always make, um, carry on, you will know this reference, but essentially, there's a place in, in Barbados where they, you know, they sell like liver cutters and, you know, we all know about these places. We sell like yeah. ham cutters and things, right? Like vendors and stuff like that. There, it would say, you know, you should be willing to go with me on a picnic, the, the, the best, most expensive five-star restaurant, or you should be able to be willing to go down Baxter's Road is the place where you to get one of these like fish cutters or ham cutters, liver okay. cutters, whatever, right? That is the point of it. To me, if you go on a first date, I have been on first dates with women where we literally did nothing but sat on like a patio or on a board that there is very big on the boardwalk. You sit someplace and you chat, you talk. Because mm-hmm. you, you are trying to see if you guys are compatible on a deeper mm-hmm. level than just what you see. Right. Right? So, man, stop leading with your wallet. I understand. You might got it like that. You might got it like that. You got money to throw out the place. But if you lead with it, even, let's even take it to this in this context. Even if the woman was interested in a second date, you start off with $1,100, $1, going, brother, man. Me. So, the next thing you care about this woman, you up in the thing. And you up in Five the knows. thing. So, then, right. <laughs> So then now when you're looking to make this woman your girlfriend and you're looking to do an occasion for that, you, you flinch she out. You understand know me? Get flued out. You gotta get flued out. So that's why I say stop leading with your wallet. If a woman is about you, and Derek also says this, if a woman about you, and I want carry on use a woman, you could attest to this, because we've had this conversation several times. If you got something for a man, it matters not. Not, yeah. It matters not if he's spending. Eleven dollars or eleven hundred dollars. Yeah. Correct. You will I mean, make... that is correct. And I know some women watching this will be like, "That's bullshit." No, no, no. no. For me, no, yeah, that is it's, correct. It's, it, they can pretend it's bullshit for the moment, but I tell you, but, but, but they that. can't. They, they will say it's bullshit, but they can't really argue the fact she got it for eleven hundred dollars for that man. The ex picks she out here spend the same. That's right. I, I'll get guess who guess who right. guess who is having right. guess who gave the stomach <laughs> guess who gave the stomach <laughs> guess who gave the stomach. <laughs> Yes. Uh, belly, uh, he felt the belly warm here. The ass gonna feel the belly in next. Uh, you know I mean? We did a short months ago where there was this guy. He s- said he spent two hours making this R and B playlist for this woman, <laughs> and she said, "Yeah, it was great." She and she mom was listening to it when they went up on a date the night. <laughs> Fellas, we we gotta stop this here. If you're trying to get to know somebody, as Neil said. This is essentially an interview. 
this is an interview. You do not have to spend eleven hundred dollars to get to know somebody. Mm-hmm. And if you do, that's an indication that you don't need to know that person. She's on lyrics. Your little ass. <laughs> Just say, if you ain't gonna spend so much money to get to know you, what you gonna spend to, to keep you around? To mm. maintain you. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Fellas, we gotta do better. Yeah, we gotta do better. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you got anything outside today that I did, Kerry. Because I know um, I know this is a bit of a shock for you, Kerry. Huh? So. Hey, hey, you know, it, it, this is this is such a rewarding experience. Um, in that, <laughs> in that, you know, call. Yeah, you know, this is new. Call, and please let us understand, right? Like, you don't, we call it a foodie call, but there are other things, right? It could be food, it could be appliances. Racing. <laughs> it's just, there's a term for it. It's called rinsing. How would you rock? The other thing I want to say. <laughs> yeah, carry on. We going too what? fast for you, Doc? Yeah, you're going, you're, going fast. Fast. you're going too fast. Rinsing is a term essentially where you get men to pay to you buy money, you things. To buy you things you or whatever. Gifts. And you literally give nothing in return. You may give the promise of it, you oh. may give the illusion of it. A sugar daddy. Uh no. Yeah, sugar daddy's no wants a sugar. Yeah, but but Andy and, and the sugar daddy does get his sugar. Don't yeah. get tap. We're not talking these about girls that. Are There's doing no nothing. sugar. These are just a daddy. Sometimes they don't even know these men. Exactly. You just dispense advice to the men, not to leave with the wallet. Ladies, Carrie Ann was talking about how one, you know, um, women may say that, oh, they don't do that. They don't. Listen, every woman in here know the power of what they have between their legs. Every woman. And I guarantee you that every woman know if they wanted to, can get at least a Snickers bar out of a man. <laughs> you understand? So don't mm. come and at all high and mighty that, oh, I don't know. Oh, this would never, I would never. Oh, I can't believe. Mm-mm. It's not going to work with me. Because y'all know. And some of y'all have done it. Some of y'all have done it. So if you know that you ain't about a man, if you know within your heart of hearts you are not about a man, left out the man. You're a strong, independent black woman. But you got rinse a man for eleven hundred dollars to carry yourself to a fancy restaurant. You can't pay to go yourself. Just to experience it with you and you girls. No, you gotta get a man that interested in you, genuinely coming in good faith, interested in you, and you with your bad faith ass taking the man for a right. Stop. So it goes, man. What, what, so it what, goes. What, what, what we prime minister to say? Cut it out. Stop <laughs> the foolishness and fuckery. Oh, yeah, that's. That's how it goes, folks. This has been another Senate short. Like, share, let us know what you think about this one in the comment section. Hit the notification bell at home. We might get hit for $1,100 to ensure that you do not miss any of the content we got coming for you. We can see you guys again soon. The contaminated environment. Any two tools about that?